What is going on everyone? Today, I'm gonna go through the top five Spring Chinook tips to hopefully help you catch more salmon when you hit the water for some big Spring Chinook or Springers as we call them here in the Northwest. Now in no particular order, my first tip for catching Spring Chinook is to fish right off the bottom. With higher waters in the spring, the Spring Chinook or Springers as we call them here in the Northwest tend to be right near the bottom of the rivers, whether you're fishing in the Columbia or the Willamette, they seem to be suspended right in that three to five foot range right off the bottom. Now, from a setup perspective, you want your weight dropper or that ball of, of weight right near the bottom when you get that gear right in the water and then two or three cranks up from that, you wanna be right in that strike zone. With higher spring waters and snow melt off from the mountains, our rivers in the Northwest tend to be a little bit higher when it comes to the spring. So spring Chinook tend to be lower towards the bottom in the water because that is the slower moving current water. And of course, fish do not like to be in that fast water getting thrashed around. So what you'll find 99% of the time is those spring Chinook will be suspended just above the bottom. So you wanna get your gear into the strike zone get that weight dropper all the way down to the bottom, crank up a few cranks, and then you've got your bait right in the strike zone. So the next tip is to make sure that you've got your hook placement in the right position, especially if you're fishing, say, with bait like herring. Herring seems to be a really good bait bite, especially in the early parts of the season when we're going after spring Chinook. So the next tip is to make sure that you've got your double hook rig set up in the right position and that you've got this trailer hook laying flatter on the herring when you're putting it through that you've got this upper hook in the right position especially when you're getting that rotation of the herring behind a flasher you want to make sure your hook placement is good because a lot of times those springers will short strike or short bite and even on this trailer hook they'll bite that tail say of the herring and they'll miss that hook when they're coming through so you got to be really careful with your hook placement especially if you're using bait to go after spring Chinook. Now with spring rains and snow melt off, a critical element for catching spring Chinook is watching the water temperature wherever you're at or whatever zone that you're fishing in. And here's why. Spring Chinook are a little bit finicky when it comes to biting either bait or plugs or spinners or whatever presentation that you're throwing at them. Now the water temperature plays a critical component to whether the Chinook may bite or may not bite your gear. So when the water temperatures are cooler, you wanna actually go with more of a herring presentation, so an actual bait presentation rather than a plug. The salmon just tend to go after bait more when the water temperature is cooler. However, when you've got the snow melt off and the water temperatures start to increase in the spring, say in April, and may and you get into the higher 40s or say the 50s what you'll see is the salmon maybe are still biting the herring not as good but they're going after say plugs or spin fish or maglibs or spinners more of the metal and plugs type of presentations as the water warms up and of course you want to watch the sense that you're using whether it's in the colder conditions or as the water tends to warm up the fish are going after looking for different baits and scents so play around with those different things as you're heading out because the water temperature on a daily basis could be different in different zones and that could dictate what presentation to use and what the fish actually might bite on. Now, whether you're fishing with bait like herring or you're stuffing a spin fish with bait or you're adding scent to your presentation, you need to be constantly swapping out your baits and your presentations probably every 45 minutes, an hour at the most. A big part of success in spring Chinook salmon fishing is the scent, right? The three S's of salmon fishing, sight, scent, and sound. Scent plays a critical factor, especially if you're using bait like herring, you wanna swap that every 45 minutes because the longer that that bait goes, there's less scent and it becomes less effective and you just, in the water, you might not get that spin that you want. So you wanna constantly be swapping your baits out, swapping your plugs out, adding more scent every 45 minutes. Some people even do it every 30 minutes, maybe on each pass, wherever you're coming down in this zone that you're fishing, but you wanna constantly be adding more scent and swapping out baits to get a more fresh presentation in front of the fish. And when it comes to salmon fishing in the spring, the river levels tend to be much higher than in the fall or the summertime. So when you've got the snow melt off 
and the spring rains and the river levels are higher and maybe the clarity is not as good. You get that soupy kind of brown green color looking. What you're gonna want to do is fish in shallower, closer to the bank or in shallower water and find the clearer water. In the spring when the rivers start to rise, the waters can get a little bit soupy, a little bit dirty. There can be a lot of debris in the river systems and the fish tend to hang in closer to the bank and still on the bottom because the water is not thrashing them around like it would be in maybe some of the deeper water pockets that they normally would be settling in. And the salmon wanna find that clear, shallower water that's not gonna thrash them around as much, especially in higher water conditions. So look for shallower water, Look for shallow, clearer water and find some debris in areas that maybe have a little bit more water than usual where there may not be fish held up there. And you'd be surprised if you move in shallower, you may find more Chinook salmon in those areas than you normally would say in the summer if you fish that same spot. Now that's my top five spring Chinook fishing tips or springers as we call them here in the Northwest. Hopefully one of these tips helped you guys catch an additional spring Chinook or two. Now hit the like button, subscribe if you like fishing and other outdoor content. And as always guys, the outdoors is a gift, share it with others.